okay so welcome to the part 3 where we will be adding details to it so let's get started okay so first of all it need the eyes and this line so for that come up here to the edit mode select the half of it and delete that and now Q and mirror that or add a mirror modifier mainly so after that turn on the clipping so it don't split in the middle and now it's time for choosing the faces in which we will creating the eye so for example we have this one let's just delete this one with the deleted faces and now select this hole and as we turn on a an add-on that was loop tool so now we get this option by right click and loop tool so just make this one a circle and make the influence a bit low and now uh, one thing we need to do is to rotate that a bit just to like make the loop straight and now I uh, okay now E to extrude that and S to scale and something like the scale of the eye and now to make this line we have to control B to bevel that something like this would be fine now delete these faces and what we can do now is select this one and this one alt shift and left click I'm selecting the whole loop and now what we can do is we can extrude this toward the y direction and now go to the wireframe with z and wireframe and now control and left click drag to deselect that and now f to fill this and after that select this one and as we turn on the f2 add-on now we have to just f and f and it will fill this automatically okay this seems good now what we have to do is we have to add a subdivision modifier to make it clear like this and add a loop here control R and drag this here one loop more here and we have to as you can see this this place is smooth but in reference it's a sharp edge here so we have to select these two and these two and we have to make it sharp so the subdivision don't affect so for that press n and come up here to the mean crease and we do it somehow like this also we can select this one and grab it a bit to the x direction yeah something like this and yes that's it for the head okay now it's time for the feet so we have to add this detail for that let's first apply the subdivision modifier control a and make it rotation and scale and now let's select one of the edge from this one and just slide a bit rotate it like this because we want the same workflow a bit right right this and yep it's ready okay so now select this loop as we will considering be uh, the shape like this and what we have to do is to split the edge with the split edge modifier but for the, before that control E and make it mark sharp so now we mark sharp and we can detect this with this modifier so come up here and add an edge split modifier and now just turn off this one we only need the sharp edges to be splitted and let's make this modifier to the top and as you can see nothing crazy happens but we have to apply a subdivision solidify modifier and make this one only rim and one subdivision surface modifier and let's make this one two okay and now as you can see make sure you have the only rim option and now we can change this okay uh, it's a bit too much so let's make it one don't go above the one cause it's work perfect with one and now as you can see this one is curved so we have to make this curve so go to the sculpt mode or tap and go to the sculpt and now press G make sure you have 
increase the brush size with the bracket key and just drag it like this and as you can see it's working perfect okay the same thing for this one now we have to just um, select the edge that we want it so for example here it's this one from here and then to here and then control R mark sharp and as you can see the design is ready just need to adjust it with the grab brush okay make sure to do this one carefully to just like make this a smooth curve shape something like this yep it's ready and I like it okay the next one is on the body so just uh, question mark key or slash key to just solo that and what we have to do is to select this circle okay this one this one this one and this one okay control R mark sharp and we already know what to do so okay just uh, apply these modifiers okay I solo it again and let's apply in edge split turn off this one a subdivision make sure it's to the down and then a solidify make sure it's to the this one and make sure only rim and yes there we go okay now again do the same for this one so yep something like this something like this and something like this yep there we go and now the same thing will work for the arms as you can see there is the same pattern on the arms so select select it and now from the side view let's just decide which edges will work this time so it's this this and okay so it will come up to like here so we we'll just select this much and now this one control e mark sharp and now again the same stops in edge split modifier with the top a subdivision with the second a solidify make it here only rim and yep okay now again we have to create this design so okay just like this okay now drag this here make this one here so it's totally up to you that how much you can make it smooth so just try your maximum and there we have okay cool so that's where that was all for detailing uh, hopes you like it in the next lecture we will be sharing the whole thing which is super easy because we don't have a lot of a lot of work so yep let's just start it